Kieran, Data Center EMEA Marketing Manager. How are you getting on? All good, Gary. Good to hear you. You're holed up in Dublin? Working from home. Um, luckily, if we have the flexibility that we're able to uh, get most of the Eaton workers working from home where possible. So in my own little uh, office and guest room. And EMEA, obviously a big region with a lot of people in a lot of geographic time zones. Is it, uh, I guess, is a test of the technology that you were part of building? Well, it's, I guess it's one of those uh, great applications that the data center industry has been able to support is uh, the next generation video conferencing and digital communications. So yeah, I guess in our way, we we've helped stitch this uh, network together. And how are your family and your, your uh, cluster at home bearing up? Have you a group of people there banging doors and are we likely to see a little baby running in here in a few you minutes? You can see anything at any time. No, I can't promise this is going to be an ordered uh, interview. So no, everybody's great. Thank God. Thank God. Everybody in my friends, family circle, work colleagues, and um, everybody's all good. And what have you found to be your biggest challenge? You know, if there was your biggest challenge, is it, it, personally or business-wise, what, what are you finding? Um, well, I think there's been a, um, a kind of strange, quick adoption of the new forms of communication. So business-wise, we're expecting that this would hamper the ability to communicate but I think what's happening at the moment is people have just readily embraced it. Video conferencing has you know, shot up. Um, even when we had the facility before, a lot of people weren't using it. So now a lot more people are using the video element. So that is humanizes the communications and actually makes it much more effective. Mm. Um, people are more engaged. So I think that's been a surprising plus. So no real impediment on that, on that side of things. And at home, everything's just that little bit slower. I guess like many, I'm feeling this surreal kind of moment. Uh, you don't know whether you're in a movie or not, um, some sort of a zombie movie, but you do get, get this strange isolated feeling. Even when you go out and um, around Dublin City, you can see people, but nobody's talking. Yeah, um, And that's really unusual for Ireland. Very much so. Very much so, and, and uh, so I think you're, you, you've identified there the biggest challenge you thought would be connectivity with your colleagues in the other locations, and that's proven to be the greatest positive is that people have embraced it. And I, I, I honestly, it. absolutely, wow. I honestly think people are going to permanently unlock a new a new level of productivity. Yeah, and what we will learn in this unusual situation is how to be more productive um, using the yeah, digital tools we, we, we yeah. are, we've had for a number of years. Yeah. yeah. Have you learned anything about yourself that you didn't know? I know you're only 21 and you've only, <laughs> you have a long road to travel, but what have you learned anything mm. about yourself? Are you, did you surprise yourself? Did you disappoint yourself? Any, anything? I guess I realized that I was used to say the, the, uh, the office commute or traveling is as a way of switching on and off from work because you would uh, travel into the office, you're pre mentally preparing yourself for the day ahead. And on the way home, you're, you're mentally disengaging. When you work from home, the lines are very blurred. Mm -hmm. So um, what I'm learning about myself is that I, mentally, I cannot switch off as well as I, I could. So I, I need the physical separation, I think, uh, to help me do that. Otherwise, um, like on Saturday night, I was wide awake at 30 minutes past midnight. I just woke up wide awake and straight into work and I stayed up till 5 a.m. <laughs> and that's just not normal, right? So uh, yeah, yeah, you just know yeah, it's because yeah. you're working in the home environment and it lends yourself to do that. And the fridge, you keep walking by the fridge on every journey. That's what I'm finding. And, and uh, who's been talking to you? No, no, I think it's the same with all of us. And there's no, what's the point in having a bar of chocolate if you can't finish it? You know, I mean, these disciplined well, people. I've came up with my new expression. Don't put off till tomorrow what you can eat today. <laughs> I see a slogan coming up. I, I, you, when, you, when you give up eating, I think Carberry and <laughs> chocolate are looking for a new PR, dude. Oh, that, that's so, it. So, so, I'm, so you're looking great and I'm delighted to, to see you're holding up well. If you were to use it or capture in three words, finally, 
What would be four, three words you'd use right now? Oh, three words would be tough. But I tell you what I am feeling, and it's it's not only in the Eaton Company, uh, it's in the data center industry, and it's in society uh, as a whole. I think the people as a collective are realizing as a collective we're vulnerable. Hmm. You're used to your, your own sense, sense of self being vulnerable, hmm. but as a collective, we're feeling it differently. And that's actually bringing out a lot of, a lot of positives in people's behaviors, the support, hmm. what you're willing to do for someone else. Yeah. And I think a lot of respect is bubbling up through yeah. people that were invisible to you beforehand. Suddenly, if it's somebody at a, at a, at a checkout or it's somebody... Uh, security guard in some place keeping it open we are so reliant on one another yeah, yeah at yeah. all levels of society in all walks of life yeah so i think there's something very positive happening in, in that and i think my single message would be is that everybody first take care of yourself so that you can take care of others that's nice that's nice and, and and finally, as a, a member of the Executive Council of Hosts in Ireland, obviously our, our motto is the power is in the collective. So in terms of, of your commitment to us and commitment to Hosts in Ireland, um, it's a great bunch of people and I thank you for that. Um, stay well and uh, we'll speak again very soon. And touch your, to touch, touch, touch your collar there. Touch oh, your collar. Excellent. I know. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs>